Fentanyl is now a leading cause of death for adults 18 to 45 in the U.S., worse than cancer, COVID, or car accidents in that age group. But as recently as 10 years ago, deaths connected to the drug were relatively rare. So why is fentanyl suddenly everywhere? Here's what we know. Fentanyl is a powerful opioid similar to morphine, but nearly 100 times more potent. It's been made legally since the 1960s to treat severe pain in cancer patients, but in the 2000s, fentanyl started showing up in illegal drugs like cocaine and heroin. It's cheap. That's why. It's, with the synthetics, it's, it's cheap to make. According to the CDC, the number of fatal fentanyl overdoses rose from roughly 2,600 in 2011 to more than 70,000 last year. And the scary thing about this particular drug is just traces can kill. So where is all this fentanyl coming from? The raw materials used to make it, called precursor chemicals, largely come from China and more recently India too. They are shipped overseas and end up in illegal labs run by cartel groups in Mexico and Central America, who then press it into pills or mix it with other drugs. Surprisingly, it's smuggled into the U.S. mostly through legal ports of entry, hiding drugs among massive containers full of goods at the border. So who can stop this? This is where things get political, with the U.S., China, and Mexico all in a game of finger pointing. China has taken some steps to limit the exports of these precursor chemicals, but both Mexico and the U.S. are calling on them to do more. The Mexican government has tried to go after some illegal labs, pill mills, and cartel activity, but China and Mexico both say the root cause lies in the U.S. itself. There, there is a demand uh, for this and other drugs here in the United States. So certainly we need to address that. Facing pressure, the Biden administration announced a new plan this week to address the fentanyl crisis, including tracking pill pressing machines, seizing more cash at the border, and working directly with carriers handling these international goods. In the meantime, though, many Americans are just focusing on trying to save lives. Police and others now carry Narcan with them to treat overdoses, and fentanyl test strips have become popular at drugstores and even in bars. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.